Alright guys, let's go back to Stable Diffusion's animation. We are going to talk about another GitHub project called Diffutune. This is not a new AI model. It is a project that links up all the Stable Diffusion models, Control Net, Animate Diff Motion model, etc. It links them together as a pipeline or workflow very similar to what I did in previous videos using the Comfy UI Animate Diff workflow. But for this one, its main purpose is shading realistic videos from a dance video and turning them into anime or cartoon style videos in the generated output, like the videos you see here. And there are more sample examples here as well. Actually, they don't have a lot of research papers or text in this project. This time, they are mostly focusing on linking up all the diffusion models together as a pipeline. As you can see, the names here are very familiar, we have IP adapter and all kinds of diffusion models that you need to download and collaborate together running in this pipeline. They have also mentioned that one easy way to run this is by using Comfy UI extensions. However, these are unofficially developed extensions that are still in the experimental testing stage. You can check out this GitHub link, which shows the GitHub project called Comfy UI Fast Blend. You can generate videos and rebrand all the images in a smooth way by shading the original videos from the input and transforming them into cartoon anime styles like this. We have seen a lot of Discord bots or Discord apps, like one of the very familiar apps, Domo AI. This app, for example, transforms everything from a real camera shot into pixel art or anime styles. You can transform a lot of art styles like that this is actually the framework that can be done with the same features by using the Diffitune project. I should say this is not a framework, this is just a pipeline of code mapping that links up all the diffusion models together and is able to generate the same results as those kinds of videos in Dumo AI. They have been very transparent in showing you all the diffusion models that you need to download or use to run these kinds of video-to-video -video animations. This time, I'm going to try out the Comfy UI extensions that they have mentioned here. The features of this pipeline involve running demos, showing video deflickering, video interpolation, and image-driven video rendering. So mostly this is going to use image-to-image -image as the main feature for creating AI videos like that. It involves a lot of stable diffusion components like the text encoder, UNET, VAE, etc. It is all the general purpose stable diffusion stuff. You don't actually need to download extra AI models to run it. If you follow my previous videos where I talked about using the animate diff workflow in Comfy UI to transform videos into anime styles, I showed many video to video examples demonstrating how similar workflows are done. Basically, you can do the same things as mentioned in those previous videos. However, this is more like a project gathering all this coding and resources into Google Colab. You can run this in Google Colab as well. Let's see. Here are the examples of Diffutune. You can click into the examples folder and then the Diffutune folder to see the project explanation page below. Here's the Google Colab notebook that you can try on Google Colab. It downloads all the models required to run these kinds of videos to animations anime styles and cartoon styles videos you need anime style diffusion models based on stable diffusion 1.5 and motion models this is going to be the animate diff motion model v2 but i prefer using v3 just because it has smoother and better motions in version 3 in my opinion and of course you need line art depth map and soft edge as well if you pay attention to all this control net is required until the end you don't see the open pose here. Underneath the control net downloads models, you have the annotators models for body. That is the part involved here. Then, that's all you need. Lastly, you have the embedding models and negative prompts, and that's about it. Also, I will show you that the other interesting thing in their Comfy UI extensions is a custom node called Smooth Videos. It will actually smooth each image frame in the videos and regenerate it image to image without using any animation diffusion models. This transforms it into a cartoon or anime style that you desire. And that is really cool and consumes very low VRAM as well. So I guess this is a good suggestion for people with low VRAM who want to run some animations. You can try using the Smooth Videos custom node and set up an image to image workflow like this. It is very easy to run AI animations like this.
One more thing is that they have another custom node called My Open Pose. It's written in Chinese here, but what it says is that it interprets DW Pose and Open Pose together, using both data for character movement, avoiding the character turnaround. However, the head still cannot be identified if it is in a backward or forward position. As I mentioned in my previous videos, what I call a ghost turn is when the head stays still at the front and then the body spins. As you can see, they often use soft edge and line art for control net settings. Let's try out the smooth videos custom node because this is a very practical workflow that many people can use even with low VRAM computers. The workflow is going to be placed here. You can find this custom node project in Comfy UI Fast Blend. Click into the folder examples and you will see the smooth video JSON files and smooth video with batch size. That is going to be a faster generate time workflow. But I will try the smooth videos one because I will show you the difference between the two. So go into Comfy UI. As you can see, this is the workflow of smooth videos. This is going to be the file right here. The whole concept of this is that you are using anime checkpoint models. For example, Stable Diffusion's 1.5 base checkpoint models for tuned cartoon styles. If you want realistic styles, you can do that using models like Real Dream or Realistic Vision for realism styles. But in this example, just try to use the tuned styles to get something like what can be achieved in Dumo AI. The difference is that the batch size in the rebatch latent is the only difference between the smooth video JSON file and the smooth video with batch size JSON file. That is the only different setting. Overall, I see both have the same workflow design. The one that turns up to six batches per latent will have a lot of flickering in the original output. The other one, that is the nitty gritty, uses the smooth video's custom node to make it smooth without any flickering, even when using image to image. I guess if you guys have run Automatic 11.11 before, you will have seen some tutorials, and I even did one before using image to image to make video animations. Okay, not very old, like 8 months ago, but you know, AI is progressing so fast, and for this one, it's using the image to image technique in Automatic 11.11 with ControlNet. This changes realism style videos to cartoon or anime styles. So, the same concept applies now in Comfy UI. As you can see, there is no animated motions model applied here. It's only K sampler and two control net nodes in this group. And that's all you need. It's very lightweight, very low power, and low memory consuming. I can run like a thousand image frames per generation here with no problem at all. So let's try this workflow one time, and I will add something to optimize this workflow. Make it better, enhance the AI animations. Here, I have some stock videos that are not, you know, TikTok, or Instagram videos. They are from my artlist.io stock footage videos. I posted this on YouTube Shorts two days ago, demonstrating the results of fine-tuned and not fine-tuned animations from this. So let's run this one for the demo. I will try it low, maybe 60 frames to kickstart it. Everything runs smoothly. By the way, there's one thing I have to mention. The K sampler, as you can see here, is way different than back then in Automatic 11.11. When we were using Automatic 11.11, we had to lower the denoise settings. As you can see here, it's denoise 1.0, not 0.1 or 0.35 denoise. There was one commenter who didn't believe that using Comfy UI and an animate diff workflow with denoise 1.0 could run a smooth animation generation in Comfy UI. I mean, if you see these videos, understand that some people are still in the age of automatic 1111. I get it. But if you have limited knowledge in this domain, don't try to prove you are right. So here's the result. This is the first generation result without the smooth videos. Now we see the smooth video processing for the fine-tuned result. I will play both of them on later for a side-by-side -side comparison. You will see the difference between a normal image-to-image -image generated animation and one using smooth videos in the DivTune project to enhance the animation's smoothness. Okay, so here's the result. We can play both together and see what happens. Both are from the same source video of the bubble flying in the air. Using the traditional image-to-image -image transformation for videos will result in a lot of flickering in the background. Of course, in my previous videos or tutorials, we have overcome this with animate diff. 
but by using just the image to image method, it will flicker a lot. When we see the result here, this is after refining and fine tuning the animation using the Smooth Videos custom node. It is better and more accurate because it sets up the window size, batch size, and includes some tracking as well as accurate guidance to regenerate each image frame in more accurate positions, even in the background. But of course, some backgrounds still flicker or tilt. It cannot be perfect with the image to image technique. And even with some AI models, including the DIT Diffusion Transformers model, there are still minor imperfections, but AI improvements will overcome this in the future. So far, this is the comparison of both results. This is a very simple workflow that doesn't require animation to create such videos. You can use videos with checkpoint models in a cartoon style and achieve something like what Dumo AI does. And yeah, we just did it right here. If you have animate diff or other models incorporated with the workflow, it will be smoother but will consume more VRAM and processing power. Previously, someone commented that with image to image for animation, it could not be achieved this kind of result with high denoising. They believed it required very low denoise settings like how it was in automatic 1111. You guys can see my recent YouTube shorts where I compare some examples and once again, it doesn't use Denoise 0.1 here, it is using 1.0. Denoise is using LCM. And yeah, that's all that is here. Let's do one more example. This is another stock video. I'm using this one from Artlist. Again, this is not an Instagram or TikTok style video. It is from my membership subscription to Artlist. Let's try out these videos. So let's check out the preview of this one. It will be like the emotions of a woman. The head is turning to the left side and the camera is panning right in the middle. So we are going to use this one and try it out. You know, in these videos, I am not trying to create drama on purpose, but there are some haters who insist that we have to use denoise 0.1 or very low denoise to achieve this. Even in my previous videos, I did not use denoise 0.1. Let's wait for this result and see. So yeah, here's the result from the generated videos. This is the very traditional image to image result. You see the flowers and a lot of things flickering right here. After smoothing and fine tuning, it is a lot better. It cannot be said to be perfect. You see, there's still some slight flickering at the end, but a lot of the clothing, flowers, and backgrounds show a lot of improvement. And of course, we can do something similar in the animated workflow as we did previously. In the previous one, we used a lot of different styles. You can use animation to create that as well for video styles. It all depends on the checkpoint models. Some people ask how they can change styles like that. When you use cartoon or anime style checkpoint models, you will get those styles. And if you use realism style checkpoint models, you can turn that into realism styles. Let's do a little test here. I'll set the image frames to 30 for a quick test. As you can see, this workflow is not only for cartoon or anime styles. You can use realism styles to create such things for short videos, etc. That's how I did it with my other videos as well. So let's say you have an IP adapter advanced. Yep. With an IP adapter here, as I saw in Dumo AI's recent updates, you can change the styles of your image input, influencing the output styles without other alterations like clothing. You can do the same using IP adapters as I have shown in previous videos. And here's the golden dress color with different styles of hair and even the face. This is the traditional image to image generate result. Again, a lot of flickering. That's okay because we have the smooth videos custom nodes here to make more accuracy for each image frame. And there you have our fine tuned result. Again, we got the golden dress, changed it using the IP adapter, have the influence image here and the dark brown hair as well, influenced by the image. And of course, the face is a lot different compared to the original face. So that is how we do these image to image transformations, also including the IP adapter to have, you know, more customizable styles. Another way we can do something similar like Dumo AI does is by going back to my workflow here. And here's another thing I have done using my workflow of animating videos to videos also able to achieve a similar result of the image to image method and of course you are going to have a lot more connections and custom nodes going around 
Recently, I have done a green backdrop in case you want to just remove everything and, you know, have green backgrounds for the characters. You can do that as well in this group. Okay, so here we got the result. I have not done the upscaling because there's no point in a demo to do upscaling. It would spend a lot of time. Right here, we got the first sampling. Again, this is using Denoise 1.0. It's not using 0.1. Using 0.1 will make the image a lot more blurred. So here's the result. As you can see, it got some influence on the background because my IP adapter images have Seco styles. So eventually, it will change a lot in the generated result. Here's the second sampling. Now again, I have done a latent upscale 1.5 times. We will be using it again because we have the generated result from here. We don't want to have a lot of change from the first sampling result. So we are going to make this denoise to 0.45 or sometimes 0.5. This is good enough to just sample one more time with latent upscale 1.5 to make resolutions more clear and better overall. So there you have it. This is how we can do videos to videos. You can use animations like this or this or even use realistic styles checkpoint models like the Real Dream Turbo LCM and make animations like this. It all depends on the AI models that you apply in the right spot, at the right timing, and apply the right setting. Yeah, so that is it for these videos. Hope you guys got inspiration. Animations, especially videos to videos like this, it does not have only one way to do. Some of the stubborn haters are, you know, commenting that in previous video about animation, I'm not trying to create drama here, but I just want to make this statement in this video related to animation using Stable Diffusion and Animate Diff and DivTune Project just came into the right time. For haters, if you have ability, then do something meaningful during your lifetime, make some achievement, maybe build a startup and see if you can monetize it or attract to get a buyout offer from bigger guys on the market. That's what I did. I just want to state this and welcome for like-minded people stay here adopting new AI in their business together. Simple as that. That is it for this video. Hope you guys get some ideas, keep inspiring, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.